Hey YouTube, how we doing? I this isn't a weekly update. I should stop it. Why? Why do you have a coat on it in the house? Anyway, uh, so I see a lot of people doing drip drip uh, drip acclimation uh, videos, but I never understand why they spend a bunch of money to buy like little gadgets to do it and boxes to hang off. This is the way I did. I got so I got a whip tail a couple of thread fin rainbows and some hatchet fish and i mean i just use clean containers and a piece of airline tube stuck to the side of my tank uh, it literally cost me nothing i think the airline tube was like a six foot roll for three bucks or something which i use for everything around here all my pumps and everything but that's uh just the way i do it i just thought i'd do a short video for anyone else to is trying to drip acclimate for some more delicate fish. I do it with all my fish just because I don't feel like losing them to something as stupid as a you know a temperature change or whatever else. So I'll drip acclimate them like this and then after they get used to the pH and the water levels and everything else, all your all uh you know the KH and all the main things you think about with water chemistry and then I'll take them and put them into their bags that they came in and float them on the side of the tank here just hang the bag off like roll it over and i'll float them for like 15 minutes to get the temperature right and it gives them a little more time to get used to the water too so once those are about half and half tank water and fish store water i'll float them then i'll take them out of the water dump the water put the fish in and i've never lost a fish for acclimation i mean Obviously, I've lost fish before, but not because of that reason. So that's about it. Um, hope you guys learn a little something because I'm awesome like that, and I'd be teaching people stuff. So talk to you later. And a garbage hunter, you're not even gonna stop. You won't ever record you. Yeah, go away from the garbage. Go on. <laughs>